Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you an OU battle against David Durgerman of Twitter. Uh, looking at his team, I see that Mega Mawile, and I am not excited about it. Uh, I think the only times I've seen Mega Mawile before it's destroyed my team, the answer is, the, the truth is that I really have no good counter for it on this team. And because of that, I've actually redone this team um, quite a bit since this battle. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but, you know, you'll hopefully see it soon uh, with the new variations. Anyway, go ahead and go off my sticky web. There's no one who's going to oppose that. He, interestingly, goes for infestation, which traps Hug a Bug in, but you know, I have the quad uh, effective Giga Drain, and so I go for the Giga Drain here, he goes for Protect, makes sense, uh, I guess scouting it out, so I was thinking he'd probably switch into something who wouldn't want to take it, or who would uh, be fine with taking a Giga Drain, so I'll go ahead and go for the Bug Buzz, which should have hit everyone on this team decently well. Um, actually, not his, I guess I probably should have gone for the Thunder, actually, but anyway, certain until Tyranitar comes out, I would have been better off with the Giga Drain, um, based on that damage, it's hard to know whether it's Salt Vest or whether it's because uh, of the sand, but man, it takes it really well. Go on to Cosmic F, who should completely be able to deal with this. Also, if he sets up rocks, that's a good situation. He goes for the Iron Head. Um, guess thinking I would send out Bow, but I did not send out Bow, and Bow could have taken that anyway. So uh, here, I think I, I predicted the switch into someone else. Um, I think, oh, it was, it was, I was predicting the switch into Chandelure, so I went for the Stone Edge. Doesn't really do much against his uh, Gastrodon, which, you know, is fine, uh, but at least it did some damage, although, yeah, this, so I have a Salt Vest really stupid item on Hitmontop. There are some Pokemon on this team that work really, really well, and there are some Pokemon on this team who work not well at all. Bo, for instance, amazing Pokemon. I love how well Bo does on this team. Um, Motoko, uh, this new build of my um, Aegislash, does, uh, does what it's supposed to. I mean, it's a huge threat, and it does really, really well. Um, Landorus, kind of frail, uh, but Hitmontop is really not a good Pokemon on this team. Um, also, I don't have, I don't, you know, Galvantula also, you know, the Sticky Web is nice, but I've actually been running a lot of, uh, against a lot of slower, bulkier teams who, they don't care about the Sticky Web at all. So Infestation, I don't, you know, I don't really care about. Bo is fine in here. Uh, he goes for Protect. I think this is the turn that I go for Heal Bell. I, indeed, I do. So Heal Bell is going to be very, very nice. Uh, get rid of that burn. Um, and, uh, you know, I can stall him out all day. <laughs> in a stall war between um, Bo and pretty much anyone else, Bo is going to win. Uh, you know, even with that, uh, even with that Infestation damage, I think I probably go for the Wish here. As he goes out into, oh god, this freaking uh, Mega Mawile, you know, it's, there's nothing I can do against the Mega Mawile. I go for the wish on the switch, and now I'm hoping whoever I switch in, you know, will hopefully be able to deal with it. Um, but, as you're going to see, it doesn't quite work out. I got into Billy D. Williams as, it, uh, as he Mega Evolves into Mega Mawile, um, gets the huge is it huge power or pure power? I don't remember. But anyway, the point is double attack, and it's going to take out Billy D. Williams in one hit with a um, non-boosted, non, um, non. It's a stab move, but it's not um, boosted, or is it super effective? So, Landorus is a great Pokemon, but it's so freaking frail. Uh, so I have I've got Puff out here. It seems strange to switch in uh, Dragonite into um, Mega Mawile, but I'm at full health and I'm faster, so I could go for the EQ and wouldn't have to worry too much about the Sucker Punch. So I go back out here into Bow because I um, can't really do anything. So it used to be that um, this Pokemon Spiritomb and also Sableye had no weaknesses, but now in Gen 6, there are no more Pokemon who have no weaknesses except for, like, um, what is it, Electros, who uh, has, you know, pseudo-immunity to um, ground-type attacks with uh, Levitate. But yeah, um, weak to fairy type now, so having Bow in here is great, except for he got the crit and he got the special defense drop, so I could have stalled out the I could have stalled out the damage from the crit with some carefully placed um, uh, protects, but the fact that uh, he got the special defense drop means I can't take one hit from this guy, and now especially now that he's got the uh, nasty plot. So uh, I'm going ahead and sacking Hugabug here. Uh, it did get a decent amount of damage off of Thunder, and so that's nice. Um, but now at this range of health, considering the Sticky Web is up and this Pokemon is slower in general, I figure I'm going to protect one more turn to get my health back a little bit higher, and then I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice, and that should take it out at that range of health. I'm not really, I'm not really worried, um, because you know even with with like 
four uh, EVs in special attack. Bow's special attack is amazing. Well, it's not. It doesn't matter if it's amazing or not amazing. The point is that it has um, that ability, Pixelate, which boosts the power of Hyper Voice um, and gives it stab. So that's why it's that awesome. So now out is going to come this Tyranitar. I might be able to do a decent amount of damage with Hyper Voice because it is super effective, but I'd rather go out into Cosmic F, who is a more reliable counter to it, and I get the Intimidate off, which is what it is. He actually double switches, so he just wanted the Sand out for um, residual damage. Okay, so speed has dropped here. I'm hoping... Oh, oh a white, white Herb, so this, this guy was probably running Overheat, so um, that's fine. I go ahead and switch out here. I figure Puff should be able to take whatever this guy's going to dish out. Fortunately, it's a Will-O-Wisp, and I'm like, oh, it's a White Herb and Will-O-Wisp? That's, that's kind of a very strange set, but... You know, I'm banded. I'm banded. So Dragonite's another Pokemon that I don't think is super uh, is um, does super well on this team, and I've actually replaced Dragonite. So this is the last time you'll see Puff my Magic Dragonite on this team, at least for a little while. Uh, so I go for the Earthquake. That's a decent chunk to uh, Gastrodon, and so I mean, I guess this Gastrodon's running specially defensive, not physically defensive. But you know, Puff is also just you know, even with the burn, that band is going to make it really awesome. So I don't think he's running the Earth Power, and so I figure the Ice Beam is probably what he's going to do here. And so safe switch into Multico, and even though this thing's probably specially defensive, uh, I. You know, hit it with a Shadow Ball, it's going to do a massive amount of damage because it's the special attack of Deoxys normal form, I guess? 150 base special attack. Uh, so, uh, the special attack of, you know, uh, Rayquaza or I think Dialga. Lots of Pokemon have 100, a lot of Uber Pokemon have 150 base special attack. Um, and the only reason that Aegis Slash is not Uber is because its speed is so low. I mean, it's got the defenses of uh, Deoxys D, or maybe not quite that high, but the point is super high defenses when it's in shield form, super high attack in um, blade form, um, but its speed is its downfall. So out now is going to be Dragonite, and you know he could be going. Uh, the Dragon Dance is the obvious move here, but I still got to go for the King Shield because if he predicts and goes just goes for the straight Fire Punch, then I'm screwed. So yeah, Dragon Dance. I'm thinking I can take one Fire Punch, uh, or Earthquake. I guess Earthquake's probably the more common move. Um, yeah, you wouldn't go for Fire Punch. You go for oh, uh, he goes for the Fire Punch. You'd be thinking that I wouldn't go for the double. Um, King Shield. I really kind of, I maybe should have gone for the double King Shield, 50%. Um, but whatever, I go for the Shadow Ball, and if I hadn't gotten that burn, I would be getting a KO right now, because I'd just be able to take him out with Shadow Sneak. So, lame bit of hacks, but, you know, can't complain too much. So I go for the Shadow Sneak. Okay, maybe he could have survived. I mean, burn is 50%, so, yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, Motoko is taken out here, but he's down to really low health, and I've got the Extreme Speed. I'm hoping that he does not. I'm not sure. Um, so, it goes out into uh, Gastrodon, so I go for the extreme speed. Sticky Web, um, doesn't matter. Uh, E-Speed e will take it out because this thing is special defensive and because of that awesome band that this Dragon is carrying. So now out is going to become that Tyranitar, and I'm going to have to switch right back out. It would be really nice if I could get my that burn removed, if I could get Bow in and go for the Heal Bell. So. Um, but I don't think, you know, Bo's health isn't that great thanks to that critical hit from earlier. Um, so, goes for the crunch. Cosmic Gun isn't going to care about no crunch. Um, and that's fine. Yeah, so I figure, you know, so there, there's, he's got too good of a team. His, his team is too well developed that I can't, you know, I go for the close combat here, which was the best move. Uh, but it only does about half, and that sucks. And Cosmic F, even though it it's going to resist the Sucker Punch, it's not going to be able to take it at minus one, de at minus one uh, defense. So Cosmic F goes down, and I go out to Bo here. I'm thinking, can Bo take him out? No, Bo can't take him out. I have to sacrifice Bo. Uh, I go for the Heal Bell to get rid of that burn. And so Petty Home is going to go for the Iron Head, and now I am down to my last Pokemon. And I basically have to decide, what KO do I want? I can't take out everyone on this team. I can either take out Dragonite, or I can take out this guy. Um, and I think Titar's still on the wing. So I go for the EQ, take out uh, Penny Holmes, and so that's at least a dead Mega Mawile. 
Um, but now he knows that I'm he knows that I'm bandaged. He knows that I'm locked in, and so he goes out into Dragonite, and this is a good game. It decides to end it with an awesome uh, outrage, and that's ending in style. So puff my magic Dragonite. At least you got a kill, uh, and you will be missed on this team, but really not that much. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Remember, if you want to challenge me, there's a link in the description to the Google form for how I like to receive challenges. So yeah, that's it. So long.